After Lewis Hamilton's stunning qualifying lap to put him on pole at Hungary, he was interviewed and asked about why he thinks that Red Bull weren't as dominant as they were previously, and why the trailing teams have caught up. Hamilton pondered for a brief moment, and basically said that they slowed down due to their DRS not being as effective, and you know what, I think that he is completely right. Here is the interview before I digress. The whole field seems to close up a little bit this weekend, but it does look as though everyone's caught up on Red Bull a bit. And they, Fernando suggested to me that maybe they're struggling with this new compound of Pirelli tyre. Um, what do you think it is? I mean, have you genuinely caught up? Are they struggling a bit? Honestly, I think they've slowed down quite a bit from the beginning of the year. Um, I mean, just look at the DRS. They don't have the DRS advantage all of a sudden than they used to have. Where did that go? Um, so, yeah. Um, but I mean, they've just had an upgrade, so we would have expected them to have taken another step. We heard it was around two tenths or something like that. So, for them to have not used, uh, been able to extract that in qualifying is interesting. But I think in the race, they're very still, still the quickest, and I think it'll be very hard to beat them tomorrow. Um, but yeah, very. We are just as surprised as everybody else. But um, definitely in, interesting to see some, you know, see some of the the deficits and how it's changed from race to race to race and how we've all closed up. It had completely skipped my mind, but I think that we can all remember at tracks such as Australia and Baku, but particularly Australia, where Red Bull's straight line advantage due to their DRS was extremely powerful, even to the extent where it looked illegal, as we all saw how Verstappen breezed past Hamilton on that bendy straight at Melbourne. Even at Baku, where Leclerc had taken pole, the Red Bulls had effortlessly blasted past him and I remember everybody being bewildered as to how Red Bull's DRS was so effective to the point where they'd like an 8km advantage down the straights. However, if you take into account the recent qualifying sessions, Red Bull's straight-line speed domination seems to have evaporated out of thin air. Now don't get me wrong, Red Bull are still the quickest in a straight line, but that abnormal speed that we were seeing before is just gone, and it has got me thinking about whether something dodgy has been occurring behind the scenes. The perception of Formula One has taken a massive hit over the past two years, and to be honest, this negative perception always has Red Bull at the face of it. This all kickstarted with the Abu Dhabi race manipulation that benefited Red Bull in 2021, and then the cost cap breach that benefited Red Bull yet again that same year. And to add insult to injury, Red Bull got let off the hook with a £7 million fine that didn't even come out of their cost cap, and a 10% reduction in wind tunnel time that basically does nothing. Then, we now have even more speculation that Red Bull might have breached the cost cap for a second time, which we'll find out at the end of the month, and also that they have been using their Airbay 17 supercar to gain insight about F1 developments of the Airbay 19. So my point here is that F1 and the FIA could not afford another controversy regarding themselves and Red Bull racing, which is why I believe that they might have been found using an illegal method to generate greater DRS efficiency, and that they were banned from using it, but that this secretly happened behind closed doors. We have already seen something similar in 2019, where Ferrari were found to have been using an illegal engine, and that they had to stop using it. However, the general public were never truly informed as to what exactly they did, and all we saw was how terrible their engine was in the following year for 2020. We all know that Red Bull and the FIA have a very special relationship, and I'd love for one of the F1 teams or commentators to really ask the questions as to what happened to Red Bull's DRS advantage.